<clears throat> it is time to hate my life. Um, need to get the YouTube link because I'm stupid and always forget the right get the right YouTube link for Discord. Come on, YouTube's delay is actually so bad. I'm waiting for YouTube to pop up. Oh. Well, I guess that works. Um, I need Discord. Uh, Everyone, we live. Come chill. It's actually a pretty early stream for me. All right, I need a spray. All right, I think I'm good. I think I am good to go. Oh crap! Never mind. Hold on. All right, now we're good to go. All right, so file new. So the thing is, I want this. Okay, I want this. I gotta do the calculator. So it's gonna be 32 by 32. Ah, just, I think I should just start with 16 by 16. Um, 10 by 10. So 160 by 160. So supposedly there's a new thing. Well, it's not new. It's three years old. It was layers, new tile map layer. Okay. Is this really one pixel? No, it's two. All right. Um, I'm trying to think what game I want to work on. I'm just going to Google tile sets and get some inspiration, shall I? Like, just take a peeky poo. Um, I had like an idea for like a sandstone. If that makes sense. Um, like I could take a cobblestone and make it a sandstone. I don't know why sandstone is just like screaming at me. I'm just not looking forward to making bricks. It's going to get bricked up, bro. All right. Um, all right. So I'm trying to think how I want to do this. 
this. Let's start with a line, I think. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, I don't fucking know. Oh, I can make horizontal symmetry. Whoa, that's interesting. Okay. I'm actually going to turn off pixel perfect. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then just kind of. And if I'm going to use sandstone. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. Oh, I moved my mouse a little bit there. Um, I want to make sure this is the thing. I want to make sure this space is the same. Three, four. So one, two. Okay. So that's actually about how thick. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's actually about how thick I want these. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Something like that. And I'm debating if I want to just start with an outline and go from there, or um, I actually feel like this needs to be dark. Like more, I kind of like that more. I'm trying to think, I'm thinking of sandstone, sandstone, sandstone. I'm a tile set to platformer sandstone. Need because like I just have an idea. I'm not sandstone, Minecraft. I want a side view. Yo, what up? What's up, Snape? How you doing, boss? I'm going to put a disclaimer right now. I am not artistic. So. <laughs> disclaimer. 
What's up, Snape? What you got going on? How you doing? What you drawing? I have no fucking clue. To be honest. <laughs> so I've been trying to. Um, so this is the thing. I'm working on a 3D Unity project. That's Blender, 3D modeling, whatever. That stuff to me is easy because it's you take a real life object and you just mold it and shape it and try to get it to how you want. To me, that's easy because I'm doing like turns and crap. But I will show you. I've been dabbling in. I've always liked like pixel art and 2D games. So I'm show you. I like for example been following a tutorial to make it all in Java because I've made it like I've done a tutorial in um for what's it called um Unity. I just don't like Unity stuff, so I've been like learning this um how to do this. This is actually me trying to figure it out myself in Java. Um. So I'm trying to make a tile set. Just to, I'm kind of more just messing around um, today. But I have a couple ideas for 2D games. Um, I didn't make any of these tile sets or pixel art, by the way, just to warn you. Um, this is the one I'm learning. This is the tutorial I'm following right now. Um which I like because it goes through all the aspects of um this is going to I'm halfway through this episode that's why this is just really but this is kind of going through all the aspects of what I want like, other than obviously making art art subjective <laughs> but uh yeah so I'm just kind of messing around trying to I know one of those things I know with art, the more you practice in theory, the better you get. This is kind of what I'm trying to do. I've been doing pixel art for like 15 years. Nice. Yeah, I can't do it for shit. Like, the, like I watched. Um, oh, fuck. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. I don't know what's in here. Um, Pierre. Um, Sprite. What the fuck? Oh, I know what this is. Okay. Hold on. I found it, though. I watched one video of a guy. Um, like his, I guess, evolution of um making pixel art and he said like use a mega man guy you know try to make it your own so like i took his template that he had and like tried making this little guy this is his idol um and then i have my blocks it gets this little like force field Um, oh, I saved this as, hold on. I was like, why is this not working? I opened the image and not the A sprite thing. Well, you got this little block. So I was, I'm just kind of like dabbling in it, um, here and there, just trying to figure it out. I don't know. Not artistic. I feel like 3D modeling is so much easier, but I don't know. I bet you some people people think uh, pixel art is easier, and then uh, 3D art or um, people like me think, you know, modeling is easier. Oh, this is just the image again. I bet. Oh wait, no, this is one frame. Never mind. Lucky animation. This is jank. But at least it looks like he's walking. You know what I mean? I do 3D modeling too. I'm not great at it either. I'm not good at it either, but I'm more comfortable with 3D modeling. So I can show you. Um, let me show you real quick. 
It's just easier to open a Unity project instead of a million different Blender files if Unity decides to start today. Unity has a mind of its own. But yeah, I would, I don't know. I'm a part of one nice little like streamer community. Guy's a great guy. I love him to death. And him, and, But he's Unreal. I am just don't feel like learning Unreal. That's really what it comes down to. I just don't feel like learning it. Excuse me. And I'm already so comfortable with Unity. It's like, I really don't want to switch. Oh, I just noticed my webcam is like pointed the wrong way. Um, which don't matter. Because I look like bum today. Look like bum. But I kind of wish I could find... But the, him and a couple of his viewers, longtime viewers, have been... Uh, um making a project together i was just like oh i wish i could have that that sounds like fun because i'm not artistic but i like coding i like putting it all together like give me the art give me the music well, i can make music but like give me the art give me you know the images let me make it i just hate hate doing art um but anyways let's go to my prefabs like for example i just started working on this building in blender God, it's been a while. Okay. Um, I just got some uh, faces that need to be flipped. That's why those look weird. But like, I was proud of this brick. And I made like this wireframe looking thing. I don't know. I, the All my 3D models I'm saying is temporary. Because if the dame does good, um, I'll pay someone to make them better. But like for now, for learning and shit. Oh, this is just to me they're not terrible like i feel like they could be much worse like you know what it is you know like you, you could tell okay that's a humvee you know what i mean or this is a light tank um and then i have my turrets so like here's the air machine turret uh this one's going away i hate this one so much this one's not used missile turret like this was my first, this was actually my first 3D model thing ever, by the way. Um, and then all the machine grounds, because these have upgrades. So like this is the ultimate one. Yeah. Though I feel like the anti-air one, I, so when I miss, usually make like figurines. So none of them would be like able to use for game or animation for sure. I know a lot of people that 3D model do it a lot for just like 3D printing and art. Yeah. Like I, there's one uh, one viewer I have like, pops in once in a while. He does uh, really realistic like car 3D models, which are, are pretty sick. Um, but like for example, the uh. The progression of my 3D modeling. So this missile one was actually my first one ever. I referenced like a uh, missile turret from Halo, um, Halo Wars. It was kind of my inspiration. I don't like the bottom part that much, but it's not bad. Um, so this was the first one. This was actually the second one, which I was pretty proud of. Um, Obviously, the color the colors are just temporary. I got to figure out how I'm going to do textures. I just bought um, what's it called? Um, substance, substance painter. So I'm going to mess around with that. But this was the second one I've ever made, and then I, these are, are recent. So technically, these are the most recent um things I've three D modeled. This one just looks sick. I don't know. I like the way this one looks. Um, but yeah, the machine, this machine grunt turret is the, the second one I ever made. Um, and then, yeah, this one was the third. I was proud of this one. And I feel like it didn't take me as long. I mean, fundamentally, it was pretty easy. Um... Fundamentally, it was easy, but 
I did it much quicker than this one. This one actually had for this was actually a pretty um, what's the word advantageous uh, one to make for my second one. I was like, I'm gonna make a mini gun, but I'm actually pretty happy with them. But this is my main game that I'm working on. This is the one that's like all right, I want to release it eventually. Probably sometime next week. Or not next week. Jesus Christ. Next year. Um, when everything works. And then my kicker on this game is you could take control of the turrets and shoot. Yeah, people are excited for this game just because if it turns out how I want it to when I talk about it, um, it'll be a pretty fun game. That's the goal, obviously, right? Like, I want it to be a fun game. Oh, shit. I don't think I can. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> I forgot I changed. You know what? Let me change that back real quick. Um... I think it was this one but yeah, if i get everything how i want it to be like my pick like i have a picture in my mind um i think it'll be a pretty fun game and the thing is when i make games i try to make games that i would want to play which makes sense right where the fuck is the there it is ground platform which one is it i accidentally switched to sorry Technically bug fixing right now. It is ground platform. The fuck? One of these was accidentally switched to a building platform. So. Uh, but anyways, but yeah, a lot of my friends are pretty excited for it. They're the one. They're the main reason why I'm like trying to actually make this somewhat decent um i don't know it's, to me it's just so fun to like even just sit here in the turret and watch the other shit shoot i don't know there's gonna be a lot of strategy around it if everything works out right the next steps I'm working on is the uh, the buildings. I just started working on the buildings to get the uh, upgrades that the buildings can provide. I did that glitch again that I can never figure out what's breaking it. But yeah, this one is actually for the buildings. I don't know. Whatever I did for this turret, though... I need to apply to like all of them. I'm very, very proud of this one. I got blimps coming. I forgot to show the blimps. Nice. All right. But yeah. What do you do um, pixel art for though? Oh, this is running the whole time. Oh, well. You just do it for fun, like pretty stuff, you know what I mean? That's funny. Pokemon fan game project. Oh nice. I'm pro I'm a Pokemon nerd. I like yes. Yes. Cool. Okay. Hell yeah. I approve. But yeah, I remember making ROM hacks back in the day and I think RPG Maker. Hmm. 
And our only issue with this... I don't want to do this. I really don't. <laughs> I hate, I hate pixel art. No offense. To anyone that does it, I hate doing it. I'm just not. Like, one thing I was thinking about doing is, like, oh, I'll, I'll like, grab um a tile set and edit it to look make it look like how I want it to. But I think that's cheating. I think that's not allowed. <sighs> Actually, let's go back into Unity. I'm thinking of switching to Unity for the stream. I was like, oh, uh, so I was texting my girlfriend. I'm like, yeah, I'll, uh, I think I'm going to try and learn making tile sets and pixel art and shit again. And she's like, do it. I said, I bet. And I already gave up. It's, it's only been, I always forget where the timer is. It's only been 26 minutes. I already gave up a fair. Give me two seconds. Okay. But yeah, I already gave up. I don't have any strategies or whatever. Any strategies for what? I just do it. I don't know how to explain. Oh, for pixel art? Yeah, I I can't. Yeah, I can't. I I try. I'd rather 3D model. <laughs> because I just can't. Like, I tried doing... Now, I tried... I've been using Unity now for a year. Um, And actually, I can show you... Um, cause I, that you've already seen the art, so you know what I'm talking about kind of, um, but I learn, I tried to learn every aspect of 2d and 3d and unity. I feel like character sprites are easier than tile sets though. hundred percent, hundred percent. I will agree. And then, you know what the thing too, with, um, from my limited research, uh, there's a lot of good templates for character sprites that you can use. And there's a lot of cool tools that I've seen that you could use um, to f shape it out, you know. And because it's technically art, even if it's not 100% perfect, it could be considered good. Where it's, Yeah, exactly. Like tile sets, yeah, color theory, tiny painting shading with just pixels you know like all my um like youtube banners and i used to make business cards for people all that is just photoshop like really like i don't say semi-realistic but just sleek there's no actual like images if that makes sense i'm not actually painting <laughs> if they look good but like stuff that's supposed to look good i can't do which is fine but yeah I, I tried learning all aspects of unity um 2d and 3d and 3d first person and 3d technically first person and third person could go hand in hand just because you just move where the camera is um believe it or not um but i have been actively game devving that turret game for Four months. So I guess I shouldn't say I've been using Unity for a year. I was learning Unity for eight months and have been devving for four months. But anyways. But the thing is with 2D games, because I've already learned Unity, um, I, don't f I don't... I sound lazy, but I don't want to learn another game engine right now. Um, especially because I'm so into it already with my tower defense game it's like if i'm gonna learn anything i want to learn something to benefit the tower defense game and i feel like i'm already so far along in development where it's like i can't switch to unreal or something um i kind of wish unreal was still more 2d like 
friendly. It's kind of not. Unity is pretty 2D friendly, but you'll see when I play this, like, demo. Once I get to a certain spot, you'll see, like, um, the graphics with the tile sets. It gets upset. And I hate having to edit it and try and fix it. Like you see right there, that green line. You know what I mean? And it's really annoying. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, see. Like, the nice thing with Unity is it, it's like to make this game, it's actually pretty easy. If that makes sense. Um, like, there, like, to me, there's not. A lot that goes into it. It's really just the setup. Once you get the tile set up, the map set up, um, the players, the, the enemies are pretty um, simple. I don't know which one I selected. Let me go to inspector. Um, but like getting the cl capsule colliders set up, um, the rigid body 2Ds, and then even like. If I go into the script, if it loads, I haven't loaded Visual Studio up yet today, so so the scripts really aren't bad. Um, like I don't think much of them are. I mean, the the player script to me is always going to be the worst one. But I mean, this one's only, and I I want to say theoretically for this game, I know I followed the tutorial for it, but theoretically for this game. You have your air attack, your basic attack, and your bow attack. Your jump, your fall, your sprint. Um, this type of game, depending on what you're trying to go for, that's all you need. Then it's really just the enemies. And because you've already made one enemy, you know, modifying the script for the specific enemies really isn't bad. Because it references a lot of stuff. So you're just getting it set up. So, like, for example, my tower defense game, if I go into that, right, uh, let's go into the machine ground, turret script, edit script, um, you, yeah, there's very, I mean, there's a lot, like, for example, the turret script has a lot going on, um, Especially, it's mainly because you know you're it's first person and automated, right? So there is you know a lot to it. But if I make a new turret, all I have to do is create a projectile. You know, like a new project, like prefab, a turret prefab. Set the variables. The turret's done. Um, the only exceptions is if the turrets aren't shooting a projectile. Like, for example, if it's a laser, there's a script for it shooting a laser instead of a projectile. And you just edit the turret script a little bit to do that. And it's not hard. Same with my, like, my, like my building system is done. My building system is done. Because you have the different types of, no I call them nodes. They're called nodes. But the platforms that th the stuff you built on, those are done. Um, all three different types. The upgrade system is done. The cell is easy. That's done. So like when I, people are asking me, how's the game going? I'm like, Oh, I mean, really all I have to do for function at like gameplay wise is enemy. Um, what is it called? Enemy like effects like ability not abilities but like if they have an overshield or they go faster or they have regenerative health or if they're camouflage um those i have to do which i honestly aren't they're not gonna be hard um they're gonna have some kind of like what's it called effect that's encompassed the the model that has it like it's gonna be a humvee but it has 
a green swirl for regenerative health or a red swirl if they move faster or a blue swirl if they're having a like a overshield right and then camo obviously all i have to do is make it you can't see it like all i have to do is go in here disable the mesh renderer now it's invisible i'm pretty sure that's all i have to do because i would still have um all of the colliders if i turn this on here's all the colliders if i go to this visual and deactivate it i still have the colliders There, on, in reality, I wouldn't be getting rid of the, that. I, what I would do is I'd go through all of these and turn off the mesh renderer. Because I'd still have the wheel script. I still have my wheel colliders. You get what I'm saying? It's not hard. So like that and then I want to get the upgrades or I'm sorry the the building stuff might take me a little bit um, but then other than that it's making more turns making more enemies and the general gameplay is done which is pretty like oh I'm getting close there's gonna be a lot of visual changes a lot of you know testing and shit but i mean i think theoretically if i put my you know foot to the floor i could have a playable version of the game in less than if i really worked on it like every day five hours a day i'd probably get it done in three to four months to have play testers start playing it and start um bug fixing and making things better run more efficient um like a lot of these I want to go back and remake because I've learned more in Blender. So the topology will be better. So materializing them will be easier. But I'll have a play. I think I'll have a playable version. Three, four, three to six months. I'll start having people play test it and give me feedback. Which I'm excited about. So. I don't know I went on a tangent. I always go on a tangent. <laughs> Oops. Um, but anyways, should probably switch to title on Twitch at least. YouTube to stay. I don't get much people on YouTube. I'll switch that over. Give me two seconds. I gotta fix my pants. Well, oh yeah, the uh, thing um, I was ranting about with the uh, platformer. I hate making 2D games in Unity. So that's why I'm learning how to do it in Java. To me, it's much easier, much faster, much faster. It looks better too, in my opinion. Girlfriend changed her strings on her guitar. All right. Um, so 
the dude I am doing Pokemon pixel art at, for at the moment did his Pokemon game in Java. Yeah, it's bad. It's easier. It's so much easier. It really is. For for 2D games, so much easier. Hi, Lily. Good job on your... You're finally getting to do your uh, guitar strings for yourself. I'm happy for you. Um, it's, it's easier. I don't know how to explain it other than that. And it runs so much better. And you don't have to worry about fighting for real world. Thank you, right? And Snape, thanks for the follow. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it, though. Really appreciate it. We're so close to 600 followers. I hit 600 followers. I'll take my shirt off. I'm joking. Um, uh, it's just better. You don't have to fight the engines. Fighting the engine is the worst part of making a game, in my opinion. Um, it's just a pain in the ass. It really is. Like, uh, fuck, I'm going to open the clips again. So the first 2D uh, game tutorial I followed was on a top-down, like, RPG style. So similar to how, for example, Pokemon would be. Very basic, very straightforward. How to have the camera move with you, right? Um... This one has music, so it might. But it's basically. And obviously, it's going to look as good as the tiles that you use or the sprites that you use. Collisions is pretty easy. Done. You know what I mean? Like, I know that's like super bare bones, not much going on to it, but like, I, for a Pokemon game, I'm assuming you're, you're going to have, um, like different switch cases. I'm sorry. Um, not switch cases. What are they called? Excuse me. Um, fuck, what are they called? Game states. You're gonna have different game states, I'm assuming. Your battle game state, your world game state, um, pause, pause menu, menu, right? Um, but then once you, like, for example, once the player's done, it's done. Once he has, yeah, he has battle PC menu overworld. Yeah. Like, and once he has, like, for example, um, easiest way I know, like my turret, right? You know how I have that turret prefab? Same thing in Java. You know, once you have, like, for example, I have my character almost done, right? Same thing as for a Pokemon, depending on how he does it, each Pokemon would have different values. You instantiate it. And all you have to do is make more art and then instantiate the new Pokemon with the values that it has. And if he has, you know, obviously I don't know exactly how he's doing it, but if he has it where um, all of the moves are predefined based off of the typing value, you know, obviously like legendary Pokemon or whatever it would have maybe different other ones, but then it just calls the moves that it can learn or how the moves work from that class and it's done it's so, like like i thought when i first was like man i want to make games it's gonna be so hard and be a pain in the ass it's actually it's honestly not that bad you know and like like i said i was trying to remake this 2d game that i learned in unity cancel um by myself like after watching that 3d like that 2d top down and i was able to get pretty far without watching any other tutorials like i got the animations down the sprint animation the collision when i'm on the ground or falling 
I just couldn't figure out jumping and gravity. So that's why I started w watching a 2D uh, um, platformer tutorial because I couldn't figure out gravity properly. But now if I go, like, for example, back to that one. Platformer tutorial. Yeah. Like this one has gravity and the proper collisions. If I like, I, if this is in the way, but like if I'm jumping, like I'm walking to the wall and jumping, that makes sense how it's working. And what I'm going to do is basically took what I learned from the, like learning how to do uh, platforming by myself and this tutorial have a baby and I can make my 2d platformer game that I have an idea for. It's very nice. Very nice. Uh, I think he has most of the game done. Like the battle system is all functional. It's just making art. Yeah. And that's kind of like where um, for my tower defense game. Right. I don't know if that was. What the fuck was on me? Ooh. I hate this time of year. This is when the, all the bugs come out. Anyways. Um, I have like 70 sparks done. Jeez. I want to see that game. Does he, does he have it like posted anywhere? You guys have it posted anywhere? I'd love to see it. I I like Pokemon, and the thing is, I like the fan made and or rip offs more than actual Pokemon games now. But the thing is, Pokemon is so nostalgic for me. I'll always buy the new Pokemon games. You know what I mean? Like Pal World, absolutely loved it. Temtem, I loved it. I just fell off of it. I don't know if you can. You might be able to send links. You could try sending the link here. If you can't, uh, my Discord's in the uh, description. You could send over a message on there. I don't remember if I got rid of links. You just never know who you're going to deal with. But yeah, like my tower defense game, almost. I'm. Um, I'm almost to the same point where it's like, all right, I just got to make more turrets and more enemies and more projectiles, right? I'm getting so close, and that's what we're doing today. I need to figure out, though. So this is what I have to figure out. But, yeah, Steve, I'd love to see it, dude. I'd love to see it. Um, So, for example, if I place this building down, um, this building is automatically going to give, um, all turrets, let's say plus five range, right? Um, so what I needed to do is I needed to get all, um, I gotta turn this off. I gotta remember to fix that. Um. So what I needed to do is it's going to look in a radius. I'll send some of the sprites I made, but um, I needed to find all the turrets and then it's going to modify the turret value based off of um, obviously what this is selling it to, which is it going to be that hard I don't think so for example when this is said and done I should be able to click on machine ground right and I can phys like visually see the range um, but then I could even go into here right this should be 65 for example and I can physically see it on here yeah, dude, I want to see that shit. I love that's the one thing I love about Twitch and software game dev. You get to see everyone's projects and see what they're working on. I should make a new channel on my Discord for game dev, so everyone can share what they're working on. I gotta do that. Um, all right, so this would be in my update. <sighs> right, 
so I'm going to need a new if um, is ground or is air. This is what it's going to do. So used to programming in Java 2 now. It's throwing me off. Where do you want the sprites? Um, if you join the Discord, honestly, general is fine. If you're allowed to, I don't know. How I have it set up, to be honest. Or you could DM it to me. I don't really get that many people in the Discord, so that's why it's like I haven't worked on it. Let me see joins, bro. Oh, Lily, if you're still here, um, the guys from that game store messaged me. They have a um, they have a game going on alternating Wednesdays. So every other Wednesday from six to nine for D and D. Um, I can message you if you need to read through. I think she, I don't know if I have, have it where you're allowed to add images. I'll just text you. Hi, lol. I love the name. I love your Discord name, by the way. It's like your username. <laughs> Alright, so basically... This all goes in here. I sent lying little sprites, but uh, uh, uh. oh, those are sick, bro. Those look good. The fuck? I can see I can see the uh, the Pokemon inspiration and I'll, and some of them like pretty well not in a bad way though like in a good like that the one with the diamond like sword it's like a needle king on steroids like an evil needle king I hope I'm not offending you but it looks cool excuse me I get shown I don't know if I can show it on the stream or not. I don't know if you want me to or not. But I was like sick. I like I like the yeah. Yeah. So did the the guy you're working with on this project, did he like give you ideas? He's like, I want something that looked like like that looks like this, but it does this and this is what they do. Like did he give you that or is, or is he just kinda okay, cool, I'll show him. Or was he just kind of like, make them and I'll do it, if that makes sense? Like, what's your guys' process? Does he tell you, like, oh, I want, I want it to look like this? I must have fat fingered uh, my hotkey. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, I like them. This one's pretty cool. Too. 
Like, I thought oh, it almost looks like a bug. I like them. I'm excited. I want to know about me. I want. Does your buddy got like a YouTuber or something for this? Or you do or something like devlogs? I'm invested. Now I'm invested. Now you got me invested. Oh, then I'm you the GitHub of the game. Oh, man. Don't get yourself in trouble now. That I will not show on screen. Even if you said, yeah, show it on screen. That I will not because I understand. I got a fucking gifted sub for this. What the fuck? Dude, it's so weird. Like, you look at your gifted sub sometimes and you're like, I, I've watched this person before. It's public. He's shown it on Reddit. Oh, okay. Then I don't feel bad. Or maybe he hasn't. I don't know. I better not. Okay. That's fair. Fair. I understand. Uh, dude, I understand completely. Um, real quick. I did this change. Let me make sure the turrets still work. I'm no programmer, so I have no clue. No worries. Yeah, no, it's... I understand, because the way I am is I want everything to be my own, if that makes sense. And, like, yeah, a tower defense game isn't hard to make. Anyone could make them. Um, but I still don't want to be like, oh, here's all the code. I mean, I'm kind of already doing that with the YouTube videos. But anyways, it's hard to explain. Like theoretically, someone could take theoretically, someone could take my code or um, your your partner's code and then change all the images, change the layout and they have a game. So that's why I was like. I'm not going to show it on stream if I get that because <laughs> I understand. And don't worry, you saw my pixel art skills. I ain't making no fucking pixel art anytime soon. Okay. I always do that. C sharp, I don't have to do that. All right. Um, I'm going to make a private uh, turret. Um, the best one is the fire slug, though. This one? This little guy? This little guy, he's fucking adorable. It's like a, it's like, um, it's like Slugma, but they actually made him a nice looking fucking Pokemon. You know what I mean? I like it. I'm a hunt, like, I, I'm not like pulling your leg or anything. I like, um, turret. Turret, um, all turrets. <clears throat> I like them though. All right. Um, I like uh, when the bird throws a nut on the ground, but then decided he wants it later and goes to get it. Wait, what? <laughs> that was so random. <laughs> that's like my, that's literally me. I'm sitting here thinking and working. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, 
<laughs> this is a real bird. Okay. <laughs> like, I was going to say, I'm like, your, your mind did exactly what mine does. We're talking about one thing. It's like bird. <laughs> the, the, you know, you know, those videos where it's like, um, um, sorry, I'm having my, my bird moment right now. You know, those videos where it's like, they were like, when, when God made a Sagittarius and they got like the, the water cups and they're pouring it in a bucket and it's like, like toxic or this, right? I feel like when God made me, he, he, he did all the pouring of the waters or not pouring of waters, right? And then he took some salt. He took some salt and just did a little of this, right? And when he did this, this is the little bit of autism that he put in me. <laughs> the nut is too large. He can't carry it up the cave. Oh, you got birds. What kind of birds you got? Sorry, that was my parrot. Oh. Sorry, that was bad. Thought I want a cracker. I had a I had a neighbor that had a parrot and I just loved fucking with it. I loved fucking with it. Um, we're gonna make a new one. I actually really like birds. Fun fact. I just know they're super messy. Um, this is what I want. All right. So building region. And then we're going to make a header. Isn't it? Header. Um, this is my intelligence building. Uh, intelligence center. Uh, this one isn't that messy. Only half the bowl of food ends up on the floor. That's fair. Public int range increase. Public bool. I'm ahead for bed, though. All right, Snape. Thanks for hanging out, though, and show me your project. I'm get, hit me up when you guys like post something or do something with that, because I'm like I'm invested now. But thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the follow. I hope you have a good slip. Bye-bye. Uh, Adios. Public bull. Um, I'm going to call it detector. Detector. Yeah, we'll set that to false. Range in case will be zero. Um, I think for now, we're just going to do the range increase. And then what I'm going to have to do is
all I think I have to do for the range increase. Range increase. Oh, these are floats. That's fine. Okay, I gotta look for where range is declared then. Or used. Increase. Might be it. Okay, so that's actually going to physically increase the range in the functions, but not the, the base stat, which is fine. Um, if building... Um, Turret, all turrets. Oh god, for each. Oh man, game. Oh lord. Um. We're going to have to ask ChatGPT. I'm going to be honest. Because I don't know. This might be a Unity thing. There might be something built in Unity that I could just get everything with a tag. How can I get um, all turret objects? I said for the um, maybe get every turret object in the game and add it to the array. All right, Chat GPT, spit me out something good, yeah. But I needed to. <laughs> I 
Okay. I see. This actually isn't bad. So we have turret blueprint, we'll have turret manager. This is actually not bad. Uh, I was gonna say, where the fuck did my stream go? Anyways. So, I believe all I have to do is in this turret script. Yeah, on this void start, we're gonna add, we're gonna have if is ground or is air because I don't care about um. I don't care about my buildings right now. Um. So it's only going to add my actual turrets, not my buildings. That's what that's doing. Oh, I pissed off multi-stream. Give me two seconds. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. All right. So, all right. Every time a turret is placed, we're going to add this. And then if is building, I want to debug dot log um, build manager dot Oh, not build manager, turret manager. I want to see all the turrets. So I have to add an empty game object. I believe it's what it said. Attach turret manager script to a game object in your scene, an empty game object. Okay. So. Where's my game manager? Am I actually... Create empty... Turret manager at zero, zero. And then... 
we have to add the script to it. Uh, characters, turrets. All right, we want turret manager, turret manager. So if I oops, did this right, um, if I did this right, go into game, go to console. So let's play some turrets, right? We got boom, boom. Boom. Now, if I place a building, pause. Okay. I think I want it. Turret. All turrets dot lane. So we'll put three turrets down and then this one. So we have three. If I place another one, I have four, five, six. Okay. And then last test, it shouldn't count my buildings. So now we're getting all um, we're getting all the turrets, right? So let's create a new region. Um, building. Methods. So basically, this is going to house my building method. So, for example, we're going to have a private void. Um, um, update. Void turret range increase because this is the one thing we're going to have right now. And what we're going to do is this is going to pass through um, turret, turret. It's going to pass through a turret. And then if turret dot range is equal to turret that range plus turret that range um, range increase break uh, return get out of it and then else, um, turret that range is equal to turret um, is plus equal turret uh, range increase. And actually, this could go away. We don't need this.
Anywhere it says plus range increase other than that method. Yeah. Um, and then just to be safe, I think I should put parentheses around that. Um, so now for each um turret manager turret and turret manager dot all turrets um all we're gonna do is run turret range increase passing through my turret um, and it doesn't like that. Um, this turret. Oh, I'm sorry. For each turret. 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 And turret manager, all turrets. And it's only going to do it once. So basically, okay, we're going to do this check. If turret range is equal to this, which is basically the modified turret range, it does nothing. But if it doesn't, we increase it. Um, I don't think that's good. Because if I delete the building, so what I should do really is if this dot, well, it is enabled tech. <sighs> There's going to be issues with this. Might be fine. So let's see. So we're going to press play. Um, we're going to build a turret. Now, if I go into this turret, right, my machine ground, it's at range is 60. Now, if I place the turret, place the building. says it's 60.
current is not the Let's, oh, you know what? Turret is not defined. Oh, I know what it is. Yep. Okay. Um, I think that has to do with something. Okay, that didn't upset it. Okay. So I just gotta add that tag to all my turrets now. Which is not an issue. I just do this. Wait. I just do these. Okay. Um, so they should all be updated with turret now. Yes. Machine turret, turret, air short is it? Turret, laser. No, fuck laser. Machine ground upgraded. Turret, missile ground. Turret. Okay. Uh, getting control to wait. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Whatever. All right, um, it's a weird fucking error, but now I shouldn't get any errors with all the turrets. Even if I upgraded this one all the way. Some interesting. I don't know if I actually said that, but we have to fix that, anyways. But I am not. Why am I getting two audio listeners? All right, so one of the cameras are broke. That's fine. We can figure that later. That's fine. All right, now let's go into. The buildings. Make sure my one thing actually fucking works. So if we go into prefabs, buildings, hangar, hangar building. Alright. The only thing we care about in this is intelligence center. Range increase is five. 
Wow. So. Test. Got a turret. I'm going to pause it. This machine ground turret has a range of 60, right? Fuck, I always do that. It has a range of 60. Now, if I place this one, it should have a range of 65. Jesus. Uh... Make sense. So I was right the first time, I think. Um, okay. R had a range of an increasing value every um, nanosecond. I don't know. Um, that's an easy fix. It should be. Update. This way. Yeah. If. Turret that range. Not equal turret dot range plus range increase. Yeah. Else return. Now I'm just going to put that to make sure it breaks out of that. Try this again, shall we? Um. I should fix it. Well, it stopped going up. That's what I care about. It stopped going up. I only want to do it once. Only wanted to do it once. I'm doing this wrong. I only wanted to do it once. Um, which I should not have this as a loop, probably. Yeah, I was just going to.
<sighs> it's because I'm doing it on the update loop. But... Because it should be passing through the turret object. Yeah, it's passing it through, right? I'm getting 60 as the value. Um, Technically, I don't need that return there, but... Huh. I did it for a nano... Like, one nanosecond. It was equal. Now we should just get out of it. You know what? It's because I'm not setting the turret range. I'm just adding it. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. How do I do this? Uh,
Chat GPT to the rescue? That's basically what I'm doing. ChatGPT basically told me what I'm already doing. I need to. Oh, what's up, Euphoria? I don't want ChatGPT told you, but your check of value being always added. Yeah, yeah. I I figured that. What's up, Euphoria? But I figured that out, and I'm just kind of like, I need to set it. Can I do a get set? Because yeah, I am doing it each frame, which I don't. Think, I know it's not a good thing to do. Uh, I only need to call it once. How are you doing on this fine Monday? I'm all right. It was an easy day. You can store the value not in local or use a bool to stop when you want it. Just give me a hint. Mm. I want to try one more thing. I don't know if it's going to work. Because the only thing is, for example, if this, for example, this building gets upgraded, um, there's a possibility my range increase is increased. Oh, you know what? It's probably because I'm using um, floats. No, it shouldn't matter. Jeez. How's everything going with you for a house school? How's classes? I don't think this is going to work either. Yeah. God, I don't want to send. Ugh. 
Yoner. I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce that right. I'm so sorry, Yoner. You're 100 percent right. I'm just like. Mm. Not in your goal or use a fool to stop someone from getting angry. Uh, I think part of the issue is I'm using it all in one fucking method. Or in one class. Um... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, I see what you mean. So if not, so my bull, then and your if range check. Because I tried the. Because I tried, for example, let's count, because we know this works for now, right? We know this works because I tried doing, for example, we have the float, the check, right? If we're going to do it just uh, check, it's less than turret. It's ugly, like, but I can close. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. If the range. Range check is actually the new range, which should be. Um, I just thought this would work if check does not equal I thought this would work like okay it's not equal or if check is uh this is so weird without bull they're like you are starting your check will go uh with the range yeah you're right oh you're right I'm a fucking idiot you are a hundred percent right Uh, okay. Yeah, I completely forgot about that fucking fact. Okay. 
I'm going to keep it this way then. And then I could work around it. Like, for example, um, the way I have upgrades going on. So let's say building variables, right? Let's say this is public bool is range upgraded to one, let's say. Or false. Um, so, for example, if this is an upgraded building, I could do um, if that and that and then a new float check equals turret range plus range increase um, Actually, if it's already been upgraded once, and that's it. Wait, no, I would break it. Um, I could do a switch case. <sighs> I guess, and I would have to have like turret dot range increased to as well. And then it'd be messy. There's only going to be three possibilities. So we'll just add it for now. Yeah, for three, it's not. If now, if there was like. You could keep upgrading it, then it would fuck it, and then it would just be disgusting. But yeah, you're right. This isn't. This isn't bad. Thank you. I didn't even think like I was. I kind of was like, okay, maybe I should use a bull, but I'm like, that doesn't make sense. I should be able to check the range, and I should be fine. And then I didn't realize my dumbass. Every time it updates, it's checking the check and then adding. It. Yeah, I was stupid. That was fine. Well, more will be better in a num or a switch or a different. So, yeah. It's, there's only going to be three. At most, three. So, it's okay. I'm fine. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, point it's stuff works not getting the perfect go though yeah that's how honestly that's how i've always been it's like as long as it works i don't care <laughs> as long as it works it doesn't crash i don't care which this might have to be redone anyway i might have to put buildings in its own separate class um outside of turrets to be honest and that would probably clean stuff up a lot but for now i'm the kind of guy liking the perfect code but it's too late tonight for that good what's i'm assuming you're east of me then because it's only eight o'clock for me well yeah, eight o'clock to me is early still 8 p.m but thank you yeah i'm in france Ugh. okay 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 I, I didn't mean that, like, ew, France. I was just like, oh, you're in France. Like, oh, Dwight. 
Don't take it wrong. Don't take it the wrong way. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I am tired. Maybe it is time to go to bed. Go to bed early. Why that sound? I know. That was so mean. I just... It just came out. I'm, it's it's like, oh, you're overseas. It's like, oh, oh, I'm sorry. That's what it was. It was more like that. If I was disgusted, I would have been like, yeah. I don't know. I feel like a dick. Uh, it was just, it was just all, that was all instinct. I am sorry. I was just, it came out. It was like, oh, you're France. Where are you from? I'm in the uh, U.S. I'm in the Midwest of the U.S. So to make a weird sound too Is it? <laughs> anyways but yeah that's it yeah all i really wanted to figure out today i knew it was going to be somewhat simple but today i just wanted to see if i could get the turrets so <laughs> 40 years i got i got some weird sounds on blurp some channel points i don't know i don't know if i still got that working actually um, but all I wanted to do was get, um, how do you pronounce it? Is it in your, in your, in your, in your, I'm sorry, but thanks for the follow. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. So France, I'm going to say it's, hold on. Don't tell me what time it is. It is 3 a.m. Like, that doesn't help. Aonir? 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 303. Ah! My boss lives in Ukraine. So I, I, I think for him it's like four. Four or five. Yeah, so I, I kind of have an... I'm like, France, okay, it's a little more west, I think. You know how Americans are. We're we're like, what's the word? We're uh, ignorant when it comes to world geography. And I actually watched a um, a video about it. Um, it was funny. It was a uh, a British man that moved to the U.S. and lives in the U.S. for a while, and he was like, you know, uh, Easterners. I know some American people. I saw that. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. You know what I'm talking. That's fun, cute, and weird. Wait, what? What's fun, cute, and weird? Me? What? Huh? Anyways. <laughs> I'm so confused now. I was like, all right. Um, no, the, the video was like, you Easterners, like, overseas from the U.S. need to stop making fun of Americans for not knowing world geography that good. Because, like, we could get in our car, and in 30 minutes, we're in Berlin. Or in 48 minutes... Or in an hour, we're in Poland. Like, for America is so fucking huge, 45-minute drives, you're still in the same state. Hell, you're even lucky if you made it halfway through the state in 45 minutes. <laughs> like, if I want to go to vacation, if American wants to go to the vacation, we have beaches, we have mountains, we have snow, we have it all. Stop making fun of Americans. I was watching it, I'm like, I feel better about myself. The British guy said so. <laughs> it was so funny, bro. I was just like, all right. But anyways, yeah, today I wanted to get um, the buildings to get all the turrets that's on the map. And I got that, which is fine. And it was actually pretty simple. I just made a turret manager, which I could probably use as turret manager for more stuff now. Um, made a turret manager gets all the f objects with the tag turret. I don't know. I don't. I don't think that's how it works. And then anytime I build a turret, if it's actually a turret, not a building, then it takes the turret and adds this object, which is the turret I'm building. Um, and then. In my update loop, I put all of the normal turret stuff in an if for it is ground and is air. Um, and then, if we're building, if it's a building, like what we were fucking with, right? 
Um, then it does stuff. Undoubt the loot. There's going to be more stuff too. Like, for example, um, level two, the second up, one of the upgrades for this building. Um, one of the upgrades for this building. Um, God, words. It's going to. Hold on, I just thought of something. Um, spawn a UAV. Basically, you're just going to spawn another game object that's flying around in a circle above the map so you can see the shadow of it. Uh, but it's going to spawn a UAV and any vehicles that are invisible, camouflaged, and it lets the turrets see those enemy vehicles. Um, so that's kind of the main reason why I was trying to figure this out because I need to be able to set those properties. This is simple. Just get get all the turrets for each turret, update it. It might get slow. I don't know. I prob there's probably like a switch case or something that I could do with this. But anyways, I also just realized I want to see um I want to see if I put two of them down. So we got one turret and first one, we're at 65. If I put another one down, it's still 65. Um, I guess that makes sense. We're not going to reveal that right now. I think that's actually fine because I don't want. I guess the max range of each turret will be level three of one of those because my thought process. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine, actually. That it works like that for now. That's fine. We got to get the game functionality first and we'll fuck with that later. I'm trying to think. Ugh. I want to try something. Go to done to try stuff. Yes. I want to try something though. Made this Humvee invisible. <laughs> invisible Humvee. We might, uh, mess with this more. So, like, for example, Humvees are invisible right now. You can't see them. Oh, look at the turret is shooting a ghost. Okay. I wanted to test that because the next thing I'm going to do is um, because if I want a UAV that can make these visible, right? Um, I wanted to see if that would work and it does so I just disable the mesh renderer stuff on these enemy vehicles I 
Oh, I'm still in game scene. No wonder I can't see. I'm like, what the fuck? All right. Sweet. Oh, yeah. We get the increased rage. <sighs> the increased range is really only for... Um, a lot of these building upgrades are really more for when the uh, vehicle... The, 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 the turrets are not being controlled. Um, until you get to their max upgrades. I'm thinking max upgrade for... We'll see. I'm trying to think what I want to do. I, I know I want three different buildings. They're gonna the three main things are going to be different. Is one's gonna make stuff cheaper, and earn you more money. The other one is gonna be for like the UA for dealing with UAVs and stuff. And I think the third one is gonna be science. Um, where the last update upgrade you would get a nuke. That sounds like fun. To figure out. Hips to me. Just like. Here's your one time password for this app. And I'm like. Thanks. I used it once. I wish the message would automatically go away. But no. I gotta go through it. I'm trying to debate. I'm debating if I want to do more tonight or not. Because I got the one thing I wanted to get done done today. That's how I've been able to enjoy doing this stuff, is just do a little bit at a time. What I really want to do is I really want to... Um, I really want to keep going with the tutorial on um, the 2D Java game. I don't know if I want to do that on stream or not. Excuse me. I'm debating. Or I might just play, or I might just go lay in bed for like a fat minute. Let's see if there's anyone I could raid out to, maybe. No, no one I'd watch. None of my buddies, at least. What's going on with software and game dev channels right now, huh? <laughs> Content warning. Oh, that's the new game. I don't like... That game just looks like a Phasmophobia Lethal Company ripoff. Debating what I want to do. Alright, what do we got for software and game dev? What is this guy making? Bro, I wish I was artistic sometimes. Some of this stuff is always so cool. Ha! Crash. I don't know what I want to do. What do I want to do? I wasn't expecting... Honestly, I wasn't expecting to figure this out that fast. It was pretty... I don't want to say it was pretty easy, but I just wasn't figuring it. <laughs> I didn't think it would be that easy. Shit, or not, it's not that easy. It's just it, it it went it went by fast. You know what I mean? Okay. Sometimes Chat GPT points in the right direction, and you're you're done within minutes. Sometimes it's the biggest pain in the ass in the world, and you want to just die. That's how I feel with Chat GPT. 
I'm here. What do I want to do? And here, tell me what to do. I don't know what I want to do. I'm being a bitch right now. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just relax. Call it a night. Fuck it. I had a productive day at work. Got the one thing I wanted to get done with the game today. I think I'm gonna just relax. Enjoy the rest of the night. But thanks for everyone hanging out with me. Appreciate it. Always say, uh, join the Discord. I like to hang out while I work during the day because. Working from home is boring and lonely. So join the Discord. Hop into channels. Message me. Fuck it. Do it. But I hope everyone has a great night. Thanks for checking out. And I uh, hope to see you guys later. Peace.